Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Mathematics, Heuristics and Marys once again. Today we're going to be dealing again with a particular concept that is very commonly tested in schools and we're talking about constant difference. Now again a question that deals with parts of a whole, fractions, decimal, percentages, whole numbers, uh, ratio, and the difference between the two values is always the same. Now this is usually the case when we have the same value added to both variables or we have the same values removed from both variables. Now when, when such an instance, the difference between the two values is still the same. Now this is also true when we, have, when we deal with questions uh, that has got to do with age because the difference between the age is always the same. Now in schools, again, it is a very common uh, thing that teachers use models to solve such questions. And again, today we're going to show you a method that is so effective that it is going to work like magic. Let's take a look at a question that deals with constant difference. Now constant difference usually involves variables where we add the same number to both and when we reduce the same number from both. Now that is the key identification that you have to look out for. Now it is also true for age because we will always add the same amount of age to uh, two variables when we talk about the future or we will remove the same amount of age or same amount of years when we actually work backwards when we talk about the past. So in this particular case we're talking about Jessica and Tiffany. All right. So again we're going to be using a before and after method. All right. We're using the ratio method. So here Jessica was two sorry 60%, three-fifths as old as Tiffany. So Jessica would be three units and Tiffany would be five. Now, however, in six years' time, Tiffany will be 50% older than Jessica. Now, since we are comparing it against Jessica than Jessica, Jessica will be 100%. Tiffany, who is 50% older, will be 150%. You reduce that and you will get that Tiffany is 3 and Jessica is 2. Now take note that the question has swapped Tef Tiffany and Jessica. Do not make the callous mistake of giving the wrong ratio. So Jessica will have 2 units and Tiffany will have 3. Now we have already identified this as a constant difference concept. So what we need to do is we need to take a look at the difference between their two units. So Six years ago, Jessica had three units and Tiffany is five, so the difference between them is two. Whereas six years later, the difference between them is one. Now the idea again is to make the difference the same. Hence, we look for the lowest common multiple of these two units and in this case, it is two. So we multiply the future units by two throughout and we have Jessica having four units and Tiffany six. So from here, we will notice that Jessica increased one unit to her age and Tiffany as well. Now, this is a very good checkpoint. Whenever we deal with constant difference, when we add the same number to both values, then the unit transfer must be the same for both. So we add the same number. Like in this case, we are counting into the future. All right, same, same number of years into the future. So the units for both must add, that adds must be the same. So here is one unit, and this is as well, one unit. Now, if we, we deal with questions that requires us to reduce, right? So let's say we, we remove them, uh, we, we remove the same number from both variables, then both will actually reduce by the same number of units. All right, so in this case, we have to be very careful, though, that we are comparing six years ago and six years later. Now the difference between their age is not six years. You see, six years ago till now, that is six years. But now to six years later is another six years. Hence one unit is actually six plus six, and this is 12 years, right? Now we want to know the sum of their current ages. Now what we can do is we can find the sum of their ages six years ago. So three units plus five units, and this will give us eight, and eight multiplied by this one unit, and that gives us a total of 96. So six years ago, the total ages was 96. Now, but what about now? 
all right? Now, we must understand this was six years ago. So Jessica is going to add six years to her age. Tiffany is going to add six years to her age. Now, we have to be very careful. We are not supposed to just add one six because we must understand that both people, or in this case, both Jessica and Tiffany, will add six to each of their age. So 96 plus six plus six, and this will give us a total of 108. All right, I hope you understood this. Thank you.